While it's not officially a scope of practice for an EMT, oftentimes to help out the paramedic or if the paramedic says just put them on the monitor, the EMT is allowed to attach the leads. Uh, there's four leads and it is very important that we get these in the correct order. Uh, right arm is white, left arm is black, left leg is red, and right leg is green. Now they say arms and legs because they really should be put on the wrists and down here near the ankles, but oftentimes we kind of take a shortcut and we will attach them to the torso at where the point that the extremity attaches. Now I like to go ahead and attach my uh, electrodes before I put them on the patient so I'm not pressing too hard on the patient. And when I was learning this as an EMT, I learned white to right, red to ribs, black is left over because we didn't have the green. So I always remembered that white, red, black. Then when they added the green, that was the fourth one and that just kind of worked for me. Or you can look and it'll have, like this one has RA for right arm. So you can always look and, and see which one where, uh, where it goes. In this area, many people will say salt, pepper, ketchup, relish is just kind of a, a way around the body and you just have to remember that salt is right. It never really worked for me, but it's just another way to remember where they go. So you've applied uh, the electrode to the, uh, to the wire. Uh, some people recommend cleaning with, the, uh, with alcohol. You can do that. Uh, I generally don't take the time unless the patient is extremely sweaty, diaphoretic, or if they're dirty for some reason. But we just peel these off and attach them to the correct spots. White to right. Red to rib. Black was left over. That one is really stuck on there. And then the green on the right leg. And that's how you attach the patient to the monitor.